Santa says, what's that? Oh, okay. Hey everyone, Angelo Mancios here, and today we're gonna to talk about 12 saving tips for the holidays. Let's go behind the vault. So some tips for the holiday season. The tip number one, tip number one is make your coffee at home. Now, a lot of you are going to say to me, oh, but I get a, a latte this with froth that and cinnamon that and blah, 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 that. Well, maybe invest in a really good coffee maker that will allow you to make those different lattes and cappuccinos that you really love. And I promise you, you're going to cut your coffee bill in half. All right. Tip number two. Tip number two for the holiday season, stop buying for you. This is not an excuse to say, oh, I need a present for me, one for him, one for me, one for her, one for me, one for them, one for me. Uh-uh. This is the giving season. This is not the getting season. You've got the whole year to buy for you. In the holiday season, you're buying for others. So stick to the plan. All right, tip number three, spend what you can afford but stay within your budget, okay? You don't need to go crazy. If you spend a little bit more, people aren't gonna like you more or appreciate you more. It's not about what you spend. Remember, it's the thought that counts. Number four, have your gifts delivered directly to the people you're giving gifts to. You can't wrap the gifts for the people, but it's a great way to save a little bit of dough, have them delivered directly. Number five, tag team gifts. So let's say you have a friend that you want to buy a gift for. It's $50. Well, find another friend to go in with you. So get a few people together or get another person together. Start tag teaming your gifts. And that way you can accomplish what you want without spending what you have to spend to get there. Number six, be a bargain hunter. Make a game of it. So if you're looking for a present X, Y, Z and they have it at this store, well, check out all the other stores online. Check out other resources to see maybe somewhere you can get it cheaper. One idea that I've had is that if, I can, if I'm buying a gift, let's say that's $30 and I can find it somewhere for $20, if I was willing to spend the $30, well, then you know what? Maybe take that extra $10 and donate it to charity you know, use it for some savings in a tax-free savings account, or maybe pay off a little more debt with it. Who knows? Make a game of it, be a bargain hunter, see how low you can go when it comes to the gifts that you want. Number seven, use up all your old gift cards. I know you have them. I know there's a stack somewhere. You've got all of these gift cards with like $3 here, 50 cents there, $1.27 there, $7.08 there. Use them up. Put them together if you have to, but try to use as much of those gift cards up, get rid of them and be done with them. Don't let those small little balances linger because that's free money that you haven't been using. Number eight, stop buying clutter. You know what clutter is, right? Clutter is that thing that you get from somebody where you kind of look at it and go, huh, thanks. You put it on a table for like two seconds and then when they leave, you toss it or on a bookshelf or in a bin in your basement. But if you know it's something that you're not gonna use that's just gonna take up space, stop buying it, okay? These little novelty things look great in the store and it makes you feel good for a second and a half, but it doesn't mean you need to bring it home and put it up on your wall or your mantle or your shelf. Stop buying clutter. Number nine, say no to gift exchanges. I get it. Everyone in the office is doing it. Your friends are doing it. You know, oh, we'll do the little secret Santa and put our names in the hat. But here's what ends up happening. You buy clutter, you gift somebody clutter, and then you receive clutter. Because let's face it, when it comes to these secret Santas, do you ever really get what you want or something that's useful? Say no to them. Say, hey guys, this year, I'm out. Say no. Number 10, sell your clutter. Get rid of it. Do you have a bin full of stuff in your basement? that you haven't looked at in a year, two years, three years. My rule is if I haven't touched it in a year, it's out of there. Make space in your home. Try and get as much of that stuff out as possible. Number 11, gifts of service rule the day. I will tell you this from personal experience. Offer to cut someone's grass, to shovel their driveway, to walk their dog, cook them a meal, 
if you don't have the money or you want to save the money, you can do that. I was talking to a good friend of mine that said to me the other day, I'd rather take my Christmas money and put it in my tax-free savings account and invest it and build towards my retirement. So I said to him, well, what are you going to do for presents? He's like, gifts of service, man. I'm just going to give my time. Number 12, experiences and memories are what people love. So when you're gift giving, one thing that you can do is make it a fun experience. So I'll give you an example. My children's godparents, who are my cousins, um, when they buy gifts at Christmas time for my kids, they do gifts like the ROM, the Science Center, let's go to a movie together. Now I understand with COVID, you know, we may not be able to do those things this year, but when you're gift giving, do something where you can join the person and create a memory with them. An experience is something they'll always cherish and remember. Wait, what? Sorry, what's that, Santa? Well, that's 12. Well, we said 12. Baker's Dozen? All right, Santa, you're the man, so Baker's Dozen. So Santa wants me to give you one more bonus tip. He's telling everybody, please go out and learn how to bake cookies. We all know Santa loves cookies and milk. It's a cost-effective way to gift give, and I'm gonna give them out at Christmas. Santa wants cookies, I want cookies, you probably want cookies too, and you've been behind the vault. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our holiday videos. Don't forget to like and comment here. Subscribe right there. And here's our next video.